I had a question recently about how you um, skew or adjust perspective or distort an image in Affinity Photo. So I wanted to show you how you do that. To start, um, I'm going to show you how to how to skew your image. And you would do that by going up to the Filters, Distort menu, and then uh, Shear. And then you'll get a, a little dialog box that shows you your uh, vertical and horizontal uh, adjustments. And you just drag to shear your image as much or as little as you want. And you can also um, view the entire image, or you can view it in split screen so you can see how the uh, effect is impacting your image. Or you could do a side by side as well. So I'm going to cancel that. The other um, item is the perspective. So again, we're going to go to Filters, Distort, and Perspective. And you'll see an overlay on your image that you can adjust in real time. I'm going to go ahead and reset that here. You can also change the... Uh, plane from single plane to dual plane. Again, you've got the same options for viewing the image with your uh, entire image, your split screen, which you can adjust by dragging the divider, or side by side. So you can see the original and your uh, modified image. I'm going to cancel out of this one. Now under the filters distort menu there is a deform item. Um, I was not able to get that to do anything. I'm not clear on how that works. I'll have to do a little more reading on that. However, I suspect what um, the commenter was really looking for was probably over here on the left side the um, it looks like the perspective tool, but there's actually um, the mesh warp tool is under there. So I'm going to select that, and you can drag the corners of this to kind of distort your image in a little more freeform manner. Once you've adjusted it, you can apply that, or you can cancel out of it. You can adjust the amount of resampling, or the style of resampling, I should say. And you can hide or show the mesh. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.